In all the problems and security issues we have today with terrorism, can we prevent another disaster? Surely the whole nation thinks differently on these issues since our last huge attack. But with all our new precautions, planning, and departments, will we be able to prevent another 9-11? It is never certain when, where, or how the next attack will happen. With all the precautions we use today, are we truly prepared for another attack? No question in anyone's mind that the terrorist attacks of September 11th, 2001 changed the world forever. The debate revolves around how much it has changed and whether that changes for the better or the worst. There seems to be a type of cry in the wilderness. How did we get here? And where are we going? Even before September 11th, we were learning. We had gone from focusing on natural disasters being the worst threat to our country, all the way to being completely preoccupied with the threat of nuclear war. And that was just the 1950s. We had already learned important lessons about mitigating the collateral damage from a terrorist attack as the result of the 1993 World Trade Center bombing and the bombing of the Murrah Federal Building in Oklahoma City in 1995. Indeed, it is estimated that the casualty count on 9-11 would have been much higher had there not already been changes made, such as widening stairwells and performing regular evacuation drills. The issues raised by the terrorist attacks of 9-11 were much more far-reaching and coined a new phrase in American colloquial English, Homeland Security. We needed to detect the threat, prevent it from becoming an attack, and know how to respond if the attack happened. The problem on its face was how to do that. With over 87,000 state, local, and federal agencies involved in law enforcement and emergency response, the challenges were enormous. With federal agencies gathering domestic and international intelligence that never crossed invisible interagency borders, the potential threat was staggering. The need for a comprehensive plan was obvious. The Department of Homeland Security became a reality.